I'm going to make hummus that has character and attitude. Here are the ingredients. I use Springfield garbanzo beans, no salt added. Some tahini. I have a lemon from my lemon tree from my garden. You need some cumin, black pepper, salt, two cloves of garlic, olive oil, and this is the attitude I was talking about. Parsley. About one tablespoon of chopped parsley. Begin by thoroughly rinsing the garbanzo beans. You want to get all that gooey stuff that was in the can washed away. Place it into the little food processor. Some people take the skin off, I don't. Now put that chopped parsley on top of the garbanzo beans. You may or may not use parsley. You may mix it with the garbanzo beans in your hummus or you can garnish it on the top as decoration. I like mine to be mixed inside. It gives it a nicer color, texture and taste. Mince two cloves of garlic inside. The squeezed lemon juice goes on top of the garbanzo beans. I usually pre-mix my spices in a little container before mixing it with the main ingredients. For one can of garbanzo beans I'm going to use quarter teaspoon of salt, a little less than quarter teaspoonful of black pepper, I'm going to use quarter teaspoon of cumin, ground cumin. And then gently top it on top of the garbanzo beans. Alright, next you're going to need the tahini and I'm going to use three tablespoons of tahini. One, Some people put more tahini to make it creamier. Well, I just don't care about the hummus being creamy or not. I just want the taste to be super good. So three tablespoons is more than enough. Last item, add a teaspoonful of olive oil. You may add more olive oil to garnish on the very top after you make it. Now give this thing a little mix, chopping. Now usually you need to add some water to this. The way I do, I go exactly quarter cup of water. Open, get the sides back onto the center. Here's the time to taste it. Looks like it needs a little bit more water. That's about two, tab two tablespoons more. Ah, I should be okay. You can tell by looking inside the food processor if the ingredients are not moving smoothly, that means it needs a little bit water. The best way to taste is your finger. 
Mmm, it needs more salt. I'm going to use quarter teaspoonful salt more. So that's total of half teaspoon for one can for one can of garbanzo beans. Half teaspoon of salt. That's totally up to you how much salt you want. The more you mix, the creamier it gets. This hummus is done. Transfer your hummus into a, a bowl. I'm not going to eat all of this tonight. I'm eating alone today, so I'm only going to take a little portion as a side dish to my main menu. Never throw those away. Eat them. Now this, what you do is you put some more olive oil on top. If you have some pepitas, just garnish your plate, decorating it. Like that. Personally, I also use some mint to sprinkle on top. Hummus can complement any food. As you can see, that's my main dish. I got some french fries, Mediterranean style salad, Cabernet Sauvignon, and pita bread. How you eat your hummus is totally up to you. This is the right way to eat. Take a piece of pita bread and get some hummus on it and eat. When I said in the beginning hummus with character and attitude, my way of eating makes that happen. You take a piece of pita bread, put it on uh, some french fries, and get your fork, get that hummus on top of that french fries, never let any hummus go down the drain. That's the best way to not let hummus go down the drain. Hold on. Of course, you need that last sip to flush it down. 